Hello friends, welcome to LMS Solution Research Support. Today we are going to discuss about uh, simulation of uh, partial shading condition solar, as in solar PV array in MATLAB. And also we are going to obtain IV and PV characteristics during partial shading condition in MATLAB. So let us go for today's video. Open your MATLAB and open your Simulink. So this is an untitled Simulink. So in this, I just uh, you can click PV array. So you will get a PV panel. There is a blank PV panel. So in this PV panel, double click this PV panel. You can see the specifications of the panel. So these are the specifications of the panel. One, I am giving just one one model I am giving user defined model so there are a uh, number of models we can select accordingly as per your requirement so this is the maximum power so maximum power generated is 213.15 watts so this is the cells per module this is the cells 60 cells open circuit voltage is 36.3 and short circuit current is 7.84 so this is voltage at maximum power point this is 29 current at maximum power point 7.35 so how to calculate the maximum power of the pv panel you are going to select just you have to multiply voltage and current value so see this so our current is uh, current at maximum power is 7.35 and voltage is 29 just to multiply it this 7. 3, 5 into 29 you will get 213.15 this is how the maximum power of the solar panel solar panel is calculated so like they like likewise you can add the number of parallel and serious strings accordingly so if you had parallel strings you have multiplied that parallel for example you are adding 4 means you have multiplied that with 7.35 that is current at maximum power point if you are adding serious strings means you have multiply with voltage and then you have to uh, multiply the both means you will get the rating of the maximum power rating of the pv panel so like that you can calculate your pv panel rating first you have to fix your pv panel rating then only you are uh, you have to set the param uh, initial values that is initial voltage current voltage and output voltage first you have to fix accordingly you have to design the converter values so here you can see the iv and pv characteristics of the panel we are selected just we are giving plot so you can see this is the current and voltage characteristics for two different temperature and also this is for your voltage and power characteristics this is what we are going to obtain in our simulation in this video so this is the basic thing related with your pv panel these are the model parameters that is light generated current il diode saturation current i naught diode ideality factor shunt resistance and the series resistance so first you have to fix the maximum power of the pv panel and then you have to start working on it in this video i am going to use three pv array blocks so three pv panel i am going to connect in series so in that series connection i am going to update the partial shading here you can see the circuit diagram so these are the three panels i am going to connect as you all know we are going to give irradiation here and we are going to temperature here i am going to give temperature here that is temperature is a constant for 225 degrees celsius and the maximum irradiation will be thousand and also here the bypass diode is connected parallelly in every panel so what is the need for connecting this bypass diode is that you can see here if any of the solar panel is short circuited or any fault occurred in that panel or any <coughs> physical 
uh, factors which affects the solar panel other solar panels will also get affected because it is connected in series so in order to avoid that condition we are using a bypass diode to maintain the operation of the panel so by connecting this bypass diode the process of the panel uh, sorry the process of the power generation will be continued and there is no uh, such interruption uh, because of the the rest of the panel get affected so this is the main objective of using bypass bypass diode in this connection here have connected three panel as i have already discussed so in this i have given one parallel string and one series string so this is the three panels i have connected in series so here a controlled voltage source is used so a ram signal ram signal is given to the controlled voltage source so this is what for one second i am giving time will be 3 seconds for one second the slope value will be 37 so because the voltage will be the open circuit voltage of the pv panel is around 36.3 so you have to give 37 so this is how uh, the circuit setup basic circuit setup is given three panels are connected in series bypass diode is connected and then a controlled voltage source is connected the voltage and current are measured using this voltage measurement block and current measurement block from this you can calculate the power of the panel here the power current and voltage is given to workspace and also I have used a xy graph to plot your iv and pv characteristics of the partial shading condition that is solar panel during partial shading condition so let us see how this works initially i am given thousand irradiance that is no partial shading effect all the panel are getting maximum irradiance that is thousand watt per meter square click run after the simulation is complete the run is complete just to click on the graph So you can see the IV characteristics of the panel. You are getting only a single maximum power because all the panels are giving even irradiance that is 1000 watts per meter square common irradiance. So you are getting only one peak. So here you can see this one is your PV characteristics so this is IV characteristics and that one is PV characteristics so let us see how you can make this diagram better using property editor in MATLAB just to right click this picture go to the snapshot option and click to MATLAB figure so you can get a window like this so after clicking to MATLAB tool go to view option and you can click property editor so in this property editor you can give your x limits that is 0 to 20 and also you can give y limits 0 to 20. so you can 
drag and drop according to your requirement so this pro there are many options in this property editor so you we can say, uh, see in later videos so this is for this is the iv and pv characteristics for common irradiance conditions let us give let us create a partial shading condition and give different irradiance for each pv panel let us see that so here 1000 i'm giving it as 800 Next one is 500, next one is 300, play OK, play OK, play OK. Now run again. After the simulation, just you can click the XY plot. Now you will get the IV characteristics according to the change in irradiation condition. So let us see the PV characteristics. That is power and voltage characteristics. Here you can see multiple peaks are getting. So this is the PV and IV characteristics during partial shading condition so we have discussed uh, during normal irradiation that is maximum irradiation condition for all the panels and also we have created partial shading so in partial shading condition you will get uh, a maximum one maximum peak and many local peaks so our main objective in power point maximum power point tracking is to achieve that maximum power during partial shading condition there are many algorithms put forth to <coughs> track that uh, maximum power during partial shading condition. So we will discuss uh, different types of algorithms in later on videos. So this today video is about just how to generate IV and PV characteristics in MATLAB during partial shading and normal conditions. So hope this video will be very helpful. This is a basic video regarding partial shading. Thank you for watching our videos. Uh, do support our channel and subscribe us. Have a nice day. Thank you.